come. Come. Being a comedian is like getting your eyebrows waxed in Primark. <laughs> Risky. <laughs> Being a comedian is like buying your wedding ring from AliExpress. Stupid. Being a comedian is similar to being brave enough to tell your partner about the dream you just had when you had a willy. <laughs> I'm glad my mum's not here. <laughs> Ever since I could talk, I wanted to be either a comedian or Superman. Obviously, it's impossible to be Superman because the Tories raised the price for spandex. Uh, and I'm a little bit insecure about my camel's toe. <laughs> Speaking of camel toes, I was married once. And the camel part is relevant here because he humps other people. <laughs> yeah, I was married once. Um, ever since I was little, it wasn't then, calm down. I, uh, <laughs> I thought my main purpose in life was to find a man, settle down, and get married. Thanks, Disney. <laughs> but, sorry, not a foot. <laughs> you think it would be easy um, for someone who loves so intensely, friends have to get restraining orders. <laughs> but uh, trying to get married is like placing bets on Manchester weather. Um, at 17, I settled down, got engaged, it didn't work out. At 19, I settled down, got engaged. Obviously, it didn't work out. <coughs> At 23, I settled down, got engaged. We started pooping in front of each other on the toilet. And uh, I thought, this must be true love. Let's, let's get married. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, for most people, uh, 25 is a really naive age to get married, and it turns out I am most people. I was divorced by the time I was 30. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I ignored all the signs before Darth Humper started gyrating with all my friends. For instance, we they were red flags. He shaved his legs. To be fair to the guy, I think he was trying to do me a favor because I had a phobia of hair. But he de-haired himself so much, every time I went in for a cuddle, I just slid right off. <laughs> when we made love, I got a free exfoliation package. <laughs> um, it's the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm no longer bitter. I've learned to be grateful and learn a bit about myself because I've had time. Uh, for example, I was stood in the supermarket not that long ago and I was looking at the inside of a grapefruit and that's when I realized I was 100% sure I'm 80% gay. <laughs> All... <laughs> Thank you. All the oblong fruit repulsed me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Except bananas. Bananas are all right. Bananas are quite pretty, aren't they? I also learned I'm no longer a man hater. I once hated men so much that I lost faith in God. I couldn't understand. <laughs> I couldn't understand why God didn't just create Eve and Eve but give one of them a willy. It's like, imagine a world. <laughs> Someone's like, mm, I like my willy. <laughs> yeah, this year I learned a lot about dating. Um, I thought, okay, I know, risky. I, I thought, okay, I'm ready for another romantic endeavor in a, in a healthy relationship. And I thought, okay, uh, maybe it's time I'll meet someone who's loving, nurturing, kind, open and respectful. So I joined Tinder. <laughs> no one told me about Tinder. <laughs> Tinder should come with a warning sign that says, romance came here to die. Uh, 
You're talking to the person who thought for 10 years Netflix and chill meant Netflix and chill. My boss was like, she's getting some every weekend. <laughs> they should be naming Viagra after her. <laughs> um, yeah, so the new dating on Tinder. Uh, what I don't understand is to flirting is to insult. That's the new flirting now. We, we've got to insult, right? Uh, but I'm really, really bad at that because I'm a little terrified of karma. Ash. So, <laughs> for example, I hope your house gets robbed, but they just take your microwave plate. <laughs> I hope you mean bish yeah, bleh, bleh. I hope you miss bingo at Christmas. That one was about grey hair. <laughs> I hope you find your soulmate, but his mum still believes in Santa. Uh, yeah, I don't like confrontation. Uh, I'm too into the peace vibes. And uh, one time, I must admit, in my whole entire life, I got a little bit too angry. <laughs> it was when um, my ex Instagram me. DM'd me, this is the thing you say, isn't it? My ex DM'd me, and he said, ex-husband, and he said, I've met someone, we I've married, and we have two wonderful kids, because we couldn't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was so furious, why? So I, uh, I took his profile picture off Instagram, and I... Uh, set up a profile of a bisexual man on Tinder <laughs> in that profile. It's <laughs> safe to say he's just gone through his third divorce. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much, I nearly ran over.